I have a very soft spoken personality. I think I'm a very patient girl. I'm very t I can tolerate a lot of things. And um, today we are probably very ambitious. Very ambitious. And how would you describe your body to somebody else? Well, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I don't think you have to be perfect. Um, I'm chubby in places and I don't I don't have the urge to be perfect like like my stomach or like be toned I've never like felt the need because I'm quite comfortable about the way I am and what part of your life do you think most defines you? my childhood I was always the girl who used to be bullied in school I was the one who would never speak up I didn't really have a voice I was very shy um, very scared of speaking to new people or like, making friends. I was never good at that. And also, like, I used to have a lot of family issues at home. So that was the time where I was exposed to that in a very young age, where I didn't really know how to react to these things, which made me even more vulnerable. How much does what you look like matter to how you see yourself? There was a time when my physical appearance was more important. In fact, it was very important at one time. Like, I, I think. At 15, probably, it was important what type of clothes I would wear, where, where I would buy them from. Today, it's more about comfort. Can you show us the photo you got up? Yes. Yeah. The photo there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about the photo? So, um, this is like, I think, three months old. I was not even aware that this picture was taken while I was illustrating and um, it's what I've pictured myself to be, like really confident about what I portray on a piece of paper and not really think about is this going to look right or is this going to look good after it's done and um, I really have that confidence today. I'm, I'm confident about what I paint, I'm confident about what I draw and um, that's exactly how I felt at this moment. Like, So that's why I think I wanted to show you this picture. Do you think it's an attractive picture of you? No. I look quite messy in this picture because my legs are exposed, my head is a mess and um, I'm sure I didn't have a bath also for like two days but it didn't matter at that moment because I was doing what I love to do, so. When do you most feel like yourself? When I'm illustrating. When I'm illustrating it feels really genuine, it feels like nobody can judge me or nobody can tell me what I have to do. What advice would you give a 15 year old? At the end of the day, it really doesn't matter what people tell you to do. And if you can be confident about the changes you've had in the past years, I think you can do anything and you can accept anything. I think the average 15-year-old, she wants to fit in. She wants to look the best. And she wants to look the best when she walks out of her house. She wants to look the best in front of her friends. She wants to look like the ideal 15-year-old girl you see in like, chick flick movies. Because you're in school, like you've not really been exposed to the real world yet. And all you know, like your, your, your comfort zone are your friends and your school life and like your everyday routine of going to school and meeting the same people. What needs to be changed is that mind block against that. You don't need to look a particular way. You just need to be yourself. You don't need to... The, the fact that there are so many kids today who fall into peer pressure and like who lose out on looking the way they are or being the way they are. You lose yourself in that and you... You, you, really, you really beat yourself about that every day. I did. I, I think that's really sad because that's not, that's, not, that's not important. But I mean, most of us realize that, at least I realize that like a good four years later. Sneha and her body today, what do you think, what would you say that relationship is like? There are many people today who want to just be perfect and like want to be so slim and not even like an inch of like extra flab, but that I've never really been affected by how toned I am, which I'm really comfortable with. I'm really happy about that. This is a photograph of me 